Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am featuring a palette from Shop Hush and this one is the Smoothie Eyeshadow Collection from Face Candy. I like this palette a lot. Look at these pretty colors. Very cool tone. Few, no, pretty much cool tone. Maybe a little couple on the warm side, but I created this eye look using this palette and really liked it. Okay, so as far as the palette goes, um, fallout. There is fallout, so you're going to have to be careful with your brush. You don't have to dig in. Lightly pat the palette and you can work your colors on your eyes. So with this palette, I used some Pina Colada, Paradise Lost, Watermelon Whirl, which went on amazing. Coconut Crush, another went on amazing. Nectarine, Mahalo Mango, and some Chocolate Melody. What I really liked about this palette, besides its price, because it's priced really well, is that these colors here went on the, the flat brush and just glided on like a hot knife through butter. I didn't have to wet the brush and you can see kind of that iridescent glow that I have. It just really, really went on nice. The black, or I should say Chocolate Melody, smoked out super easy. I really didn't have to do a color, blend it out, do a color, blend them together, add the first color, blend again. Because some, some palettes you have to go over and over and blend really well. So this palette I, I blended because I almost felt like I had to. I almost felt like I had to. So I went ahead and did a blending, I think twice, just to give, you know, some softness and, and get them kind of blending into each other. But again, I don't, this palette was amazing. I am super stoked about this face candy palette. I like that it's in a cardboard, easy to travel with container. I like the size of the mirror for traveling, not too big, not too little but these kind of cool tone colors are phenomenal so i'm going to go ahead and do a second look with it because this purple's calling my name so although this is a smokier color i before i had put on the chocolate i went ahead and said you know if you wanted a light color eye this is this is a good stopping place but for me i like to smoke it up smoke it out so i did use some chocolate but i think that i can still get a even deeper nighttime look with this palette so I'm going to probably do that tomorrow as a look number two with the smoothie palette. I've kind of enjoyed um, doing a few looks with one palette just because it gives you kind of an idea of what you can do a little bit different. And so having this cool tone palette was fun. I didn't realize how much I really do like cool tone colors. My eyes are always drawn first to warm tones, but cool tones are just fun also. So. This was just a great change in, in my makeup to do something that is cooler toned, so absolutely love that. If you want to see how this makeup performs and goes on, you're in the right spot. I also uh, started out the video before I did the eyes telling you what the rest of the colors were so you know what that is. And yeah, so you're in the right spot. Here we go. Okay, so today we're going to use the Smoothie Eyeshadow Collection from Face Candy, which is a really pretty palette, kind of cool tones, so this is going to be fun. So today I used a cool tone lipstick by Dose of Color. This is the color Sleepless. As far as my blush goes, I'm pulling out the Beauty and the Beast palette, and I used the color Enchanted. I'm going to go ahead and use the highlighter called Fearless, since I already have this out. I kind of started my wing, and the wing is using the Pretty Vulgar ink. And let's see, foundation is a combination between the Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Foundation and Lawless. I had to lighten up the Lawless. It's been out of the sun so my skin color has come down and now that foundation's too dark and I haven't done a review on it yet. Hmm. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so the Face Candy palette, like I said, is really, really pretty. So we are going to probably start out with this color called Nectarine. Ooh. 
and you can see it's got it's got fallout. So we're going to be very careful with this palette. I really, really like the colors in this palette, especially the peachy tones, because I love some peach, and I cannot lie. In fact, last week, I just, I wasn't in it to film, and so I pulled out, decided to go back in my stash, and I pulled out the peach palette and used it all last week, and that, A, felt good to use some of my older palettes, but B, it was great to use because I love, love the scent of that palette. Okay, so Nectarine is pretty to start out with. I think I'm going to go with Mahalo Mango, which is that next deeper orange. And I said I was going to go with more cool tones today. And it's not looking that way, does it? Because my eyes were drawn actually to those. So don't ask me why I just did these. I don't have a good reason. Okay, but I do want some of this Paradise Lost. Eee. Try tapping that on. Kind of pushing it into the skin. Think of Happy Gilmore's just tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tappy. I'll swirl in both directions just to get it all in each of my wrinkles. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take some Pina Colada. Oh, and for my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I'm going to go ahead, now that I got the Pina Colada underneath the eyebrow bone, I just got stuff going everywhere. I'm going to use the clear water resistance eyebrow gel. This is from Brow Gal. For whatever reason, my eyebrows go straight down like a set of bangs on my forehead. Not a good look. I'm going to grab Ofra's liquid eyeshadow called Bossy Eyes. This is in the color Penthouse. So I can do kind of a cut crease. If y'all haven't picked up a liquid eyeshadow, I prefer doing cut creases with these actually, because it is an eyeshadow. You can, if the color is right, you can just go one step. And sometimes these creamy eyeshadows are less expensive than some of the concealers I see ladies use. So that's a way to be budget friendly. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry a moment, which is just a pretty cool tone. I could almost finish out my matte, um, eyeliner and go, but I'd like to pick up a bit of this color here called Watermelon Whirl. It was a toss up between this one and Banana Baby, although that coconut crust, crush, whew. Let's pick up some Coconut Crush for the inner bit of the eye, shall we? Ooh, that's creamy. Goes really pretty right over the top of that liquid eyeshadow. I don't know. I don't know. We can pick up some Watermelon Whirl. How about that? I did not spray the brushes, but these are picking up on the brushes really nice. really really nice so I like that shimmer um I have not used a blending brush yet so why don't we try to blend a little bit which I always love when I don't I can just play with colors and not have to pick up a blending brush in between if I don't want to so kind of a good sign this would be one of those palettes I would keep in the back of my mind as oh my gosh I need to have this for one of those days where I'm running late Okay, so this is called Chocolate Melody. I could stop right now and have a really nicer light eye, which is possible. Why well, have a light eye when you can do some Chocolate Melody? So 
So that is a good color because I hardly put any on the brush and it's definitely picking up, which is really, really nice. Not just really nice, really, really nice. I'm kind of digging this palette. Go face candy. Now I can go back and pick up my angled brush and the pretty vulgar in the black list ink. We're going to finish the eyeliner on top. So it's just kind of a pretty cool tone look. I'm going to go back and pick up my fluffy brush and just kind of go lightly over where I put that chocolate color. And we're basically ready for some lashes. So I'm going to add my double decker lashes and I'll be back. Okay, in typical Amy fashion, mascara. So I did get it a few other spots and I thought I let it dried enough and I took a spoolie and just kind of rubbed over it. This one is new, so I'm not sure that it's fully dry, but if you take a spoolie and twist it, you can lift that makeup bit and obviously this hasn't dried because it's still a little wet but if you get some on your upper lid and you just rub the spoolie it'll pop right off and again that was so big that it flicked off the big part and makes it really easy so anyways your spoolies that are clean and double is taking care of moving your mascara off the lower lid. So this will be my final look using the Smoothie Eyeshadow Collection from Face Candy. Just, this is a fun palette. And I didn't even use the purple. And I love purples. I was proud of myself. Um, but yeah, this, this is a really, really nice palette. So I think this purple actually would look good with these cooler tones and maybe a hint of black so that could be almost a night look using this palette so just kind of a fun fun palette everything blended super nice which is amazing i like palettes that blend amazing all right so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you in the next one now i gotta go do my hair and get out of my pajamas this isn't a good look